Alrighty, welcome back to yet another video, guys. If you are new to the channel, I've been living out of my 2010 Ford F-150 in the back of the, this truck for the past couple months now. Wow, that's pretty weird and crazy to say. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I upload every single Monday. I just got back. I just spent a couple days down in Sedona. So if you missed that video, go check it out. And today I am back up here in Flagstaff currently. I just got a shower playing at Fitness for the first time in a week. So it felt absolutely amazing. And it's a gorgeous day and I'm making my way towards the Grand Canyon National Park in this video. I'm gonna be spending a day or two over in that area. And then I've got something really cool planned up in the Page, Arizona area. And I'm just about to leave. I just finished up a few hours editing at this McDonald's here. And I'm going to go first, actually, I'm gonna be checking out this national monument called the, I'm probably gonna botch this pronunciation, Wupatki National Monument, I believe is the name of it. It's a series of like Pueblo ruins and it looks really, really neat and it's on the way. So I figured I might as well check it out. So that's gonna be the first stop. And uh, yeah, that's the plan for this video. Gonna be truck camping near the Grand Canyon, checking out a couple, exploring a couple cool spots. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna get on the road. Alrighty guys, I've made it to Wupatki National Monument. Got a whole ton of Pueblo ruins to check out. Imagine the amount of time it'd take to place all these stones, collect all the clay, all the clay, place every single brick. Apparently, this place is nearly 900 years old, which is crazy to think about. So, about 700 years older than the petroglyphs I saw earlier in this trip. Wild, dude. Apparently these down here are old ceremony, ceremony grounds that have like celebrations and stuff. Alrighty guys, so I just made it out of Wupatki National Monument. Pretty dang cool, really cool to see this that history like that. Almost a thousand years old, crazy to think about, people living in that area. But now I've just made it to my campsite for the night. I'll kind of show you guys around. It was, it's a place literally only about 10 minutes outside of Grand Canyon National Park. Kaibab National Forest, Kaibab, 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 something like that. But it's like right in National Forest. Pretty pumped, it's been a minute since I've been in a place that was like a campground but there wasn't like a million other people there there's nobody else here and i i can feel pretty comfortable about this spot so it's pretty dang cool i'll show you guys around open up look at that you can see this little pretty rough little road here they got the main highway right over here and then i took this forest road finally a forest road that wasn't closed down all the way through there look at these hills dude this is cool look at these hills that is stinking cool Pretty dang awesome spot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really liking it. Pretty awesome. Get a few things cleaned up, probably gonna make burgers again for tonight. A little bit messy, I might clean a few things out as well. Man, dude, this is a pretty dang awesome view. These hills. Oh yeah. There we go. A couple bergs. Just hit so hard sometimes. Mm. Oh, all right. Mm. Oh man. Oh, finished up dinner. I'm gonna get to bed. And yeah, really great day today. It was great to get a shower, make it all the way up here. 
and I'm really pumped to check out the Grand Canyon tomorrow. It's, I mean, one of the, really one of the top places to see in the entire world, so pretty pumped for tomorrow. Pretty tired, though. I'm going to get to bed, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Oh boy, oh, already. Oh, good morning guys. That was by far the best and most peaceful sleep in a minute. It is it makes a big difference not having a hundred other people crammed right all around you. Uh, I slept really good, but I'm gonna get up. It's uh, getting a little later in the morning, but I need to get up and up and down, get a quick breakfast going, and then head into Grand Canyon National Park and spend the whole day exploring Grand Canyon. Should be pretty awesome. Here's the view this morning. The hills. That is pretty cool, dude. Oh, yeah. All right. All cleaned up, ate breakfast, and I'm about to hit the road and get on out of here, start heading towards the Grand Canyon. I'm pretty pumped. Let's get it. So I made it here into the Grand Canyon National Park. That National Park Pass, so clutch. I'm here at the first viewpoint I just crossed through in the South Rim entrance, and I'll be checking out to the Tower Viewpoint, I think is the name of it. But then, it's our, I, think, I think he said it's a 22 mile stretch with just a million viewpoints to check out, and I'm gonna check it out. I'm pretty dang excited, let's get it. Wow, that is truly stunning. Like, wow, I was just out of a loss of words. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think, just, boy, it's just so massive and vast. It's hard to even, like, comprehend or process. It's just, I'm going to keep checking out a bunch of the viewpoints, and I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a pretty fun day. All right, second viewpoint, the Navajo Point. <laughs> this is... Unbelievable, dude. Way over there, that's the tower I was just at. So apparently this plateau way over here, that is 8,000 foot elevation. That is, you can see like snow and stuff over there. And then way down to the Colorado River down there is 2,000 foot elevation. More than a mile separates way up there over here and down to the river. Like that's just insane. And the average width is 10 miles across. 10 miles. You can just see like all the flatland way over there and then it just instantly drops off to this massive chasm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Actually insane. And I'm not going any closer. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful weather outside today too. Like 60 degrees of the cool breeze and sunny. Doesn't get much better than that, dude. So I pulled off on the side of the road right here on this kind of little viewpoint and <laughs> kind of just kind of rest a little bit, take everything in, take a little quick breather, but I'll pan to the, I'll pan to the left here. How about that for a view? 
<laughs> pretty insane. I couldn't even imagine if I was able to, it was able to camp here. Like, dude, just imagine waking up to that view in the morning. Pretty ridiculous. Alrighty guys, so I just made it out of Grand Canyon National Park. I spent some time at the Visitor Center and now I am headed out. I think I'm gonna head for Page, Arizona. It's about a little after four right now. Um, it's about an hour and a half drive to get up to up to Page, Arizona. And I think I'm gonna try to stay to Walmart up there. So I think that I think that's the plan. Grand Canyon National Park, absolutely incredible. I'm more than lived up to the hype. I would love to. I actually wanted to do like a, you can rent meals and take them down into the canyon and go camping down the canyon. I really wanted to do that, but it was so expensive and I just couldn't justify it for my budget. But one day I'm definitely going to come back and do a, a bunch of the hikes and stuff and explore a lot more of it. And I did do a little, hike a little bit of the rim trail, but I didn't really, not too much of it as my leg was still pretty sore, but I'll catch up with you guys when hopefully I get to Paige and hopefully I can settle down for the night. Alrighty, so I just made it to Page, Arizona, and there is a lot of stuff to do here. So I'm going to be very busy the next couple days, but beautiful night, and I made it to the Walmart. Luckily, overnight parking is allowed. As you can tell, there's like a million yeah, RVs, buses, a ton more back there. And I'm going to make some burgers up for dinner, and then... Get ready for my slot canyon tour tomorrow it's called antelope canyon which is like a world famous slot canyon some incredible photos are taken there and it looks really be really really beautiful and really epic i'm actually going to not the upper lower canyon i'm going to canyon x it's called it's i've it was way cheaper it was like legit 150 bucks for some of the tickets for like upper which is like the most famous one and for an hour tour, I just, uh, I, I can't justify that. <laughs> That's way too expensive for me, but it should be pretty dang epic. It should be a fun couple days here in Page, Arizona. I think I'm going to spend the next three or so days here, so about as long as I did in Sedona, but pretty pumped. I'm going to get some dinner cooking and start getting ready for bed. Whew, already is the next morning, and I'm just about getting ready to head out and leave for my the Antelope, the Slot Canyon X Tour, so I'm pretty dang pumped for it. That's the plan, I'm pretty dang pumped. Uh, I'm gonna get on the road, heading, heading over there, and hopefully the address is right. <laughs> catch you guys at the canyon. All right, so I just made it. I'll catch you guys probably when I'm on the truck, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get on any video, but I'll catch you guys then. Holy mackerel, Woo. I have like a gallon of sand in my hair. <laughs> it is like a sandstorm out there today. Dude. It's just whipping, like, there's low visibility, just crazy wind. But I just got back from the tour and wow, it was really, really, really cool. It was maybe like the coolest place I, like, I've ever been. It felt like I was in a scene of Aladdin or something. It was wild, wild. But it was definitely, I think it was definitely worth it. Super cool. I definitely recommend the Slot Canyon X. Gives you a great taste of what the other one, the other ones are apparently. I mean, it's very similar to the other ones and it's half the cost. So really awesome. I'm going to head back into town and catch you guys later. Look at that. So this is the Glen Canyon Dam. This is, I didn't even know about this dam to be honest, but it's only a couple feet shorter than the Hoover Dam, which is way more well-known and famous. So I believe it is the second tallest dam or largest dam in the entire U.S. So very impressive. Pretty dang incredible. All right, it's hard to see much of anything without gated everything is. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was pretty dang epic, massive. And tonight I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna head over to Walmart again and then when, before sunset, I think I'm gonna go check out Horseshoe Bend, which is like the most well-known thing here. It's super scenic, absolutely beautiful. So I'll probably get to check that out. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there and I'll catch you guys when I get there.
Whew, and wow, that was Horseshoe Bend. Absolutely incredible. It was pretty packed, so I didn't get any great shots of the sunset. But it is so much bigger. It's just massive in person. It is just really something else. It's just like the postcards. Absolutely incredible. But definitely worth a definitely worth a mile and a half hike. But it is really cold right now. I'm gonna head back to Walmart and get tucked in for the night. It is quite chilly out today, so I'm looking forward to getting in getting in my sleeping bag and getting warmed up. I'll catch you guys back at the Walmart. Alrighty guys, so I made it back to the Walmart and it is getting late now and wow, it was chilly out today. I had to throw in my red flannel for the first time in a long time, but I think that's going to about do it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize. I know this video in the last two, last one or two have been a little bit all over the place. Just it's difficult to get good filming in when there's so many dang people around, but next video, I promise it's going to be really awesome. I'm going to be putting in a ton of time filming. It's going to be away from everybody and I'm really excited for it. going to be a switch up of things. So stay tuned for that. Uh, really excited for it. Um, really awesome up here in the Page, Arizona area. Really, really neat area. So many things to do. And I'm going to be just spending another day or two here. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it. Really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. I'm going to get to bed. Catch you guys in the next one.